I'm going to show you two more evidences for the thing of Jesus Christ being uh, God the Father. Uh, God the Father being the soul, Jesus being the body, Holy Spirit uh, being the Spirit. So, uh, the, the Trinity, I do believe in the Trinity and teach the Trinity, the Godhead as it's properly called in the King James Bible, but they are three in one body. And again, I'm going to show you a real good verse proving this. I had a brother just write this to me, so I thought I'll put that in the video. But just an interesting thing here, we have the... Uh, there the, this is a Catholic Bible. Okay, and here in the back, they are showing. See if I can get that. It's kind of hard to see. Right there, they are showing the bishop, the post, and pope, and the priest. Three. Thought that was kind of interesting. Okay, another little thing I want to show you real quickly here while I'm remembering this. I have this uh, First Communion Catechism for very young children right there. And I thought this was interesting. There you go. God's got his little cannonball there, you know, going bowling perhaps or something. I got I to gotta look that up in the <laughs> to, to Babylons, but, you know, thought that was kind of funny but there's a thing in here see where it is yeah there you have God is great the upward pointing triangle and of course in this thing I showed this before in other studies but you open it up here to the front and you have Lord upward pointing triangle and over there you have Lord all-seeing eye Interesting Lord that the Catholics have there, isn't it? Okay. The Blessed Trinity. Three separate persons. Okay. Here you have the Father is God, the Son is God, the Holy Ghost is God, but they are all one God. A little bit of a... See if I can get that... I just I find it interesting that this teaching is nowhere in Scripture. Nowhere in your King James Bible does it call, you know, say Jesus is God the Son, the Holy Spirit is God the Spirit, you know. Where's this thing at? But yet I can find it all through Catholic catechisms. I thought this was another interesting depiction there. Three-leaf clover. Hmm. You know. We picture God the Father as a kind Father, but He is really a Spirit. We cannot see a p Spirit. It is easy to picture God the Son because He really became man. And again, it says the Father is God, the Son is God, the Holy Ghost is God. All three persons are one God. We call them the Blessed Trinity. I don't know if you saw that or not, but right there it is. But there's more to the Trinity for a Catholic. See, because there you got the... Right there got the Trinity up here but you got Mary she's connected to it too she's got the heartburn heartburn there you know poor thing it was back in the years before Tums you know Tums ta tum 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 Where's it? oh here's the other one too the love of Jesus destroyed the power of sin the love of Jesus was like a fire in his heart Jesus lit the fire in Mary's heart too this love made Jesus die on the cross for us. This love pleased the Father more than the sin displeased Him. Sin lost its power to keep us out of heaven. Right. There you go. I don't know if that's heartburn anymore. That might actually be acid reflux. I mean, I'm not sure. It looks pretty serious. I mean, that really, I mean, had too many tacos, I think, or something, you know. It's just so absurd. I mean, you get no respect for me for this kind of pagan nonsense. There you see, again, Mary down there, you know. So, I mean, I, I'm not really sure. Oh, yeah. The church is our la ladder to heaven. How does Jesus help all men to gain, 
gain heaven. Jesus helps all men to gain heaven through the Catholic Church. The church is like a ladder to heaven. Jesus gave us only one ladder. The church is our only way to heaven. It's really, truly what the Catholics believe. All this ecumenical stuff is just a smokescreen. But there you go. You got the uh, three different, but yet one, gods in heaven. And there's Mary helping them up the ladder. The ladder is the sacraments, by the way, too. You can see that on the next page. There you go. You know? So, just thought I'd show that. But, uh, and you know, here actually you have baptism as a second birth. And there you actually have Mary's not just on the earth. She's actually up in heaven. So I thought that was kind of interesting. I don't know what you'd call it. Is it Trinity or Quadinity? You know. I have no idea. Now you can get your King James Bible. I'll show you a really good scripture that this brother sent me. Colossians chapter 1. Okay. Verse 12. We'll start there. Giving thanks unto the Father which hath made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light who hath delivered us from the power of darkness and hath translated us into the kingdom of his dear Son. So what are we talking about in context here? It says, it starts out with God the Father, and then it goes to Son. Okay? We're talking about Jesus Christ in the context. In whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. Okay? It Acts chapter 20, verse 28 says, God purchased us with his own blood. So well, that's God the Son. Show me that in context. It's not there. Nowhere does this thing, God the Son, appear in anywhere, any verse of the King James Bible. Verse 15. Colossians 1, 15. Talking about Jesus. Who is the image of the invisible God? The firstborn of every creature. Hmm. Now, wait a second. If this is talking about Jesus, well, this is just Jesus, God the Son, you see. Like the papists teach. This is God the Son. Was Jesus invisible when He was on the earth? I'll give you a minute to think about that. Although I know thinking is not a strong point of the enemies of this ministry. Okay? Jesus is the image of the invisible God. He that hath seen me hath seen the Father. Do you understand? Probably not. Verse 16. For by Him, speaking of Jesus yet, were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created by Him and for Him, and He is before all things, and by Him all things consist. And He is the head of the body, the church, who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he might have the preeminence. For it pleased the Father that in him, Jesus, in other words, should all fullness dwell. As, exactly as it says over in Colossians chapter 2, verse 9. It's repeated in there. For in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. For it pleased the Father that in him should all fullness dwell. It's right there. It's right there. And having made peace through the blood of his cross, by him to reconcile all things unto himself, by him I say, whether they be things in earth or things in heaven. Again, well, what happens when Jesus is praying to God the Father and stuff like this? Okay, again, let me just explain things here. The body, the soul, the spirit can separate. As a Christian, that can happen. All right? right now, the Bible teaches we're, that if you're saved... We're seated together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. But yet you don't know what's going on up in heaven right now. So there can be a, there's a difference there between a body and a soul and a spirit. Obviously. Now, if we can do that, what can God the Father do? Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, what can He do? See, He can be fully cognizant of what's going on there. So when you see Jesus and he's praying to God the Father, I don't know how that whole thing works. I just believe it by faith. I just look and I go, well, it's right there. But to come into Scripture and say, well, then there must be three separate gods. You make all kinds of problems for yourself when you do that. 
right? So I just wanted to share this, another little thing, you know, and, you know, get the videos going, okay, you know, more views coming your way and everything else, you know, this will probably help you if you're monetized and whatnot, you know, uh, Denlinger the Heretic has spoken again, and now you get more people for your little fan club and stuff, you know, my little, my little thing I did, it was sarcastic humor, I don't think a lot of people got what I was trying to say by the thing of unsubscribe, you know, people, oh, he's a free, he's, he's a sissy, and so, yeah. <laughs> you don't get that. So many people need help. But, you know, I was just, I was doing that thing as a little sarcastic jesting thing. And it didn't work one bit. I actually gained in subscriptions. So, yeah. I was hoping I'd lose thousands of subscribers. Ended up gaining more. So, you know, keep the videos coming to you out there that hate my guts and your, you grow your great little fan club. You know, get some t-shirts. That would probably re be really good. I mean, I'm sure you'd sell a lot of pink ones because that's the, the group that, you know, they really uh, don't like me very much. But, uh, you know, get your little little fan club going now and, and make your little video and try to explain away another scripture. Or you can just say, you know what, we're wrong. There is something there. You know, and, I, and again, I've seen some of this stuff, you know, some of the brethren and things that, that uh, should know better. What they're doing is they're relying on theological textbooks and things and and that try to reconcile things and stuff like this brethren you can't reconcile the mystery of godliness right there's a lot of stuff that goes on in that bible you just say well i just have to believe it as it is but you can't overthrow plain scriptures that say who is the image of the invisible god jesus is the in image of the invisible god there aren't three gods in scripture all right you can't overthrow those scriptures by saying, I don't understand exactly the mechanical thing here, <laughs> the mechanics, I'll say it that way, of how does the body pray to the soul. I don't get that stuff. Well, I don't either. What on earth are you doing trying to figure out God anyhow? I just believe what it says. I suggest you do the same. Thank you for watching.